Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you are new here. My name is Lily and on this page we talk about personal development and mindfulness. And in today's video we are going to be talking about the two belief systems. So let's get straight into it shall we? So I recently did a training with KK who is part of the incredible Tony Robbins team and she did such an insane training in regards to your belief system and she has a whole program um course i don't even know what you would call it but um uh, called unleash her power within and i literally got a snippet of this kind of training and it was absolutely insane and absolutely just unbelievable value and just made so much sense it was very very motivating it was so incredible so i would definitely check her out i will kind of maybe leave a link below if anyone wants to check it out and see what it's about it basically made me kind of want to talk about the two belief systems that she kind of mentions in there and kind of give my take on it and um just kind of like yeah just give my take and my kind of advice and just basically share with you guys the knowledge that I've learned from it. So she basically goes into talking about the two belief systems and one obviously being our limiting self-belief, the one that literally stops us from pretty much doing anything, the one that kind of is really mean in your head that tells you that you're lazy or that you aren't worthy or you aren't qualified enough or you don't have any certifications, that nobody's going to listen to you you that you don't have a big enough following you don't have enough subscribers you don't get enough likes you're not you don't know enough people you're not popular enough you're lazy I don't know if I've said that one already but you're scared you're fear like fearful you're not good enough you all any kind of of those bad excuses that we give ourselves you know the, the ones where we just really talk badly about ourselves that no one's gonna watch your videos your videos aren't good enough like who do you think you are to even think that people would watch your videos all of those kinds of things anything that you have that's kind of like that that you say to yourself either in your subconscious you think it like whatever it is just like write it down and make a full-on list of just every single horrible mean thing that you say that just makes you feel so bad write it down on a list you can even pause this video if you want to give yourself enough time to kind of just write it i'm just going to go through it all but i really do advise that you definitely do this because it really has helped me and although it's like it's not what i'm about to talk about later on it's not you know it's not it doesn't happen overnight but it's such a good exercise to kind of really compartmentalize the way that your brain thinks just make sure that yeah you pretty much write all of those down you can literally pause the video now and i will wait <laughs> and then we can get into it so once you've written your list this is literally like how we probably show up the majority of the time the majority of us yes sure there's going to be loads of us out there that don't show up like this but that's fine but this is this is pretty much how we show up the majority of the time and if you like to think okay how you operate and who you are right now like when how you show up and rate yourself out of 10 so out of 10 is like when you're like you're super you know your absolute best self the way that you should you want to show up all the time pretty much your best self and then number one's like you absolutely don't even know who that is you don't even know how that you're gonna even get there so like rate yourself from one to ten in regards to how you are showing up pretty much as average the what that number that you've just numbered yourself is obviously not you're not tapping into your full potential and it's because of this belief system that we've given ourselves and we want to name this belief system because you get basically want to get out of your head in the sense that you aren't your belief system that doesn't define who you are just because you think these thoughts is it's really not who you are as a person so you want to name that that you know your your limiting self belief system because she's not even letting you show up as the true potential that you deserve to show up as so i named mine cindy and um cindy is you know she she tells me that i'm not good enough and that i'm um i'm not special enough or that you know no one's going to watch my videos and that i'm just lazy and wasting my time and that i'm not good at anything and i'm never going to actually succeed or anything like that so she's cindy she wants me to just you know go into the autopilot mode and just be comfortable it's not comfortable at all for me personally living 
living in that life knowing that I'm not tapping into my full potential. So you've got your limiting self-beliefs and now what you want to do is you want to basically write a list of empowering sentences. <laughs> I didn't even know the word then. But you want to basically for every one that you've written here, for every limiting self-belief that you have written here, you want to write an empowering one that makes you feel good, that actually is like the complete opposite of whatever you've written there, you know? You're not good enough, like you want, I am worthy, you won't ever, like you're not, you're not going to be successful, I am successful, or I am worthy of success, or whatever it is, like I am beautiful, I am loved, I am strong, I can do this, I am capable, like all write all of those kinds of things, like empowering in comparison to what you've written in your limiting self-beliefs. And then what we're also going to do is then kind of create this super self, basically. So who is it? Like who is that person that you see in the future that you admire, the one that you want to be like, who you would love to be like that person or you know for me it's like I, I can't wait I'm like oh I can't wait to just be able to just wake up like, I'm gonna wake up in the morning and do yoga every morning and and eat really clean healthy food and never crave crisps <laughs> and all of these kinds of things so you basically want to right so once you've got your limiting self-beliefs and you've now written your empowering belief system that eliminates that we're going to then obviously create our super self and who we aspire to be, how we see themselves, like how they carry themselves, how they dress, the way they speak, the way they interact with everyone. All of those kinds of things is how you kind of want to picture and create this picture. And we're going to name our super self because when we turn up as our limiting self, we are not showing up as our true potential, which means that we're not gonna be able to, you know, achieve the things that we want to achieve because we're not even showing up as our as our full potential. Whereas if we tap into our super self, I've named my super self Vivian, then we're, we're kind of, you know, we're channeling our best self, which means that we're gonna kind of start to see more progress with the results that we wanna see and all of those kinds of stuff. So we want to show up as super self, not limit self. So you wanna basically create all of these empowering um, statements and if I was you, I would highly, highly recommend writing them on little post-it notes and literally putting them everywhere. Put them in your bathroom mirror, put them on your um, bedroom mirror, like wherever, put them on your fridge, put them in the microwave, I don't know, put them absolutely everywhere where you usually are gonna see them. Loads and loads and loads and every time you see them, you can literally say them in your head, say them out loud, but it really does create a much more empowered mindset rather than a limiting mindset because our minds, if it's not trained enough, it literally just runs wild. So it's basically training your brain and it takes time, guys, so really do you know, take your time with this, be patient, be intentional, you know how it is. Once you've kind of got that, it's it's all about being conscious of your mind and when you're entering different situations and tapping into your super self. It can give you the confidence to do things as well. And I've found personally having names for them really takes me out of the picture. So it doesn't make, it makes me feel like I'm not, you know, if I'm in Cindy mind, it does. It makes me feel like that's not who I am. That's just my limiting self beliefs talking and acting. And it basically makes me, it gives me that chance to be able to be like, that's not who I am. I don't want to show up like that. I'm better than that. I want to show up as Vivian. Like I need to tap into Vivian energy right now to get me through this, to make me do what I need to do. Because it's all about just the little things every single day to get us through it. It's like, I think I've recommended it in the in my video last week, The 1% Rule, but if I haven't recommended it, The 1% Rule is a really great book in regards to this, it's kind of like the compound effect, the slight edge, all of that kind of stuff. So I really, really advise that you do this exercise, especially if you're feeling like you constantly feel frustrated or like you're letting yourself down because you keep, you know, you want to do these things, but you just never seem to stick to it or whatever it is. It's probably because you're operating from Miss Cindy or whatever your limiting self-beliefs name is, and you're not showing up as your empowering self or Vivian. So I hope this video has kind of helped you guys, giving you guys a little bit of an exercise to kind of just 
really compartmentalize the way that your brain is operating and to start kind of digging deeper into those you know especially with those limiting self-beliefs you can dig really deep into why is it that you think that what is it that's triggering those thoughts and all of that kind of stuff but again i'm not like certified in any of this this is just stuff that i've found along the way on my own personal development journey so um, i do hope that this has helped you guys and i would absolutely love to know in the comments down below what your limit limiting self-belief name is and what your empowering self-belief name is and introduce them um it would be just a great little fun way that we can kind of you know support each other on this journey and yeah i hope you guys like this video do give it a like if you did like it because it lets me know what kind of content you guys want to be seeing subscribe to my channel too because that really really helps me out and i will see you guys next week with another video thank you so much bye